Hey there, Wondering Watchers. Welcome to this unboxing and flip through of Teddy Tarot. This is a Rider Waite Smith based tarot deck that is entirely dedicated to teddy bears. There are different teddy bear themed tarot decks on the market. Um, this I got on Amazon. The looks like it's produced by Dextiny or Dex Tiny. So this deck is rather small. Um, it is in a tuck box. I took off the wrapping of the tuck box. The uh, corners are kind of caved in and crushed. So hopefully the cards are okay. Um, it does not look like there is any uh, wrapping on the cards in there and it looks like there might be like a little booklet shoved in between some of the cards. So let's take a look. Okay, so here, here is the back of the cards. So you can read reversals. Um, I think I, uh, these are like 310 GSM is the card stock. Um, it's kind of got a, like a matte semi-gloss kind of finish. So I'm, I'm confused as to why the book is kind of shoved haphazardly um, in here, but uh, you know, people do packaging differently. So. There is a guidebook. Um, there's an introduction by Stuart R. Kaplan and goes into the traditional Rider Waite Smith um, kind of cards, a uh, history of tarot, and then it goes into the Greater Arcana and their divinatory meanings. So it has some keywords for upright and reversed cards. Then it gets into the lesser arcana. Uh, wands starts with the wands, then goes to the cups, then swords, then pentacles, and there is a, a Celtic cross spread in the back, and the art of tarot divination. So here, um, if you are familiar with Fire Weight Smith decks, it shouldn't be too difficult, I'm assuming. So here is the deck. You can kind of see where the guidebook was Kind of crammed in here and you know we'll just go right into it with the fool you know this I have to say this was just an impulse buy um, and there is a particular card that I saw online and once we get there I will point out which one just made me go yes I have to have this um, so here we have the Fool. Magician. High Priestess, and it says honey on the paper. Empress. I do think this is a really adorable way of showing a modern view of the Hierophant, which is like institu institutions and um, like educational institutions. 
institutions, things like that, communities. Lovers. The look on, or the the faces on these teddy bears make the star here look like a, a sad card, as opposed to like a, a hope. So I'm interested in what that says. So this is the card that I saw, the moon teddy card, where teddy bear is pretty much a werewolf um, I had to have this deck based on this card it is so adorable we have the Sun judgment Pretty much says congrats up here and looks uh, more like a beach, uh, beach sunset wedding. Five of Wands, six, seven of Wands. I think it's interesting how this one is also a view of the back of the teddy bear and you see the individuals coming at them as opposed to just seeing like just the sticks and the frontal view. Again, the back of the teddy bear and this like tiger is taunting the teddy bear and it looks like it's shaking. It's so sad. Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. Just adorable. I love this whole outfit. Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, with this big uh, head um, portion of the seat that's supposed to be the little kitty cat. That's so cute. looks like a pumpkin. Now here we are in the cups with the ace of cups and there's actually 
bees spreading the honey around. There's two of cups and it looks like a like a little engagement or a little private wedding ceremony. Three of cups. The four of cups, the coloring or the shadowing of it is so sad. You see this person, or not a person, it's Teddy. Teddy bear, like looking onto this teddy bear and this teddy bear's got a cup to offer this other teddy bear. Oh, it's adorable. There's the, the five of cups. And you can see the teddy's been crying. and it like this frame cut off the uh, top of it or if that's supposed to be like a, a teddy spirit and like a shortened head or something. Cups is like naked compared to the other page. The Page of Wands had a nice nifty outfit. Interesting. So there's Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups. Now here we are in the Suit of Swords. bear is making the heart shape with its paws. There's four of swords. Five of swords. There's six of swords. There's not, doesn't look like there is anyone except this lone teddy bear being transported in the boat and they're holding a star. The Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Unlike the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck that has like a castle in the background, Miss Teddy is just out in the middle of nowhere, it seems. There's nine of swords. Oh, and the ten of swords. Poor Teddy. This page of swords has clothes on. And also you're looking at the back of them. Ready to cut you, pretty much. Here's the King of Swords. I like how they have this, uh, like an eagle. And here we are in the Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three 
three of pentacles. Four of pentacles. This is a very interesting four of pentacles. It's almost as if this is a scene in the tower and there is a teddy bear holding on to everything in the tower after the lightning strikes and just like, nope, this is mine. I'm going down with the whole tower. So interesting. And interestingly, there's a cactus in the background there. So does this indicate there's no water to put out the fire and there's no water in general for plants to grow. So a suggestion that maybe um, there is a lack of emotion in this Four of Pentacles. There's the five. Six of Pentacles. Seven. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Is that a cockatoo? And then the Ten of Pentacles full-on feasting at the table. It doesn't look like any of these teddy bears have a smile on their face. The dog is for sure smiling, but the other ones don't look like they're smiling. And this page, this page of pentacles has clothes on too. What's that all about? Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the little bunny rabbit. And here is the additional card in the deck. It's a Polar Lisa card, and here is the, the King of Pentacles. So, see what this Polar Lisa card is about. What does it say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it's not under the Major Arcana cards. It's not in the Lesser Arcana cards. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to figure out what that's about. It's just a special card. Um, there is a QR code on this deck, so maybe if I scan it, there would be something that pops up. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. It, nothing is popping up on my phone here. You can see nothing is, oh, maybe because I have it on video. There, okay, so it has tarot guide dot top so it has all sorts of random I guess is this like this random ones does that mean that this is like a knockoff version I try to look um, for this particular um, deck and how it's sold. It's like sold in different ways. Um, I figured going the middle of the line amount was the 
I was less likely to get like a knockoff. Um, but if it's got this link, I didn't even see the, the teddy bear one on here. So, you know, I'll look into that and figure out what this Polar Lisa is. So until then, I'll go ahead and do some shuffling. These are pretty small. Um, the dimensions that I saw are like 70 by 120 millimeters, something along those lines. But I think they might be smaller than normal tarot cards. They shuffle okay. I think the card stock is all right. The edges are kind of kind of rough. Nothing fancy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a deck interview. And I'll pull kind of uh, five cards to tell me about this deck. The first to let me know its essence. A second card to let me know its current strength. Third card, current limitations. Fourth card, what it can teach. And a fifth card to show what card I should uh, get to know on a deeper level. How did these kind of pop out? This way? Yep. So they, they shuffle pretty well. Um, there's no, even though the box had dents uh, or were crushed in on the corners, it doesn't seem like this is affected. And I'm not sure about the the placement of the guidebook, but uh, it seems to be fine. So let's go ahead and pull five cards. So here we have the three of swords is the essence of this deck. Okay. And its current strength is the six of pentacles. Current weakness is the nine of cups. What it can teach, three of cups. And a card to get to know on a deeper level, the king of pumpkins or the king of wands. So um, here the essence kind of indicates that it's what, disappointment? <laughs> Um, heartache, heartbreak, sadness. So let's take a look at what the three of swords has here. Mm -mm -mm. Three of swords. It, it's almost as if this took the Rider Waite Smith insert and shoved it in here because it says three swords piercing a heart cloud and rain behind um divinatory meanings removal absence delay division rupture dispersion and all that the design signifies naturally reverse mental alienation error loss distraction disorder confusion that doesn't sound like anything teddy bear related. Um, and take a look at the six of pentacles. It's strength, kind of indicates charity, um, you know, uh, giving to others in need. So here it says six of pentacles, one in the guise of a merchant weighs money in a pair of scales and distribu 
distributes it to the needy and distressed. Yes, this is absolutely the Rider Waite Smith insert, um, the guise of a merchant. So it is exactly the same. Um, I'm going to take a look to see if I got like some kind of a uh, knockoff, but from what I've seen, there is like no guidebook at all for this um, Teddy Tarot. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the meanings of the cards because this book is clearly, um, you know, exactly what you would have in the traditional uh, Rider Wait Smith deck. So. If you have, um, maybe that's why this essence is a little bit of disappointment. Um, if you have experience with this Teddy Tarot deck version two or know what version one is about um, or have any comments about other Teddy themed tarot decks, I would love to hear it. I'm hoping this provides a helpful perspective of this Teddy themed tarot deck. And we will see you next time. Take care.